What's up, everybody? It's your boy Moose here at the Afterthought Show. Man, I can't wait for you guys to see what me and Lexi got into this weekend. We were hanging out. Um, hey, Lexi, say hi. Yeah, she's standing over there, just making sure I don't do anything stupid or look stupid. Hopefully, she's doing a good job. Um, man, we got into some crazy stuff this weekend. We were hanging out with the crew from the UFL, the Underground Fight League. Oh, man, there was some intense stuff going on. Uh, there was some local fighters and, and just the organization of the Underground Fight League. It's, it's pretty awesome. You guys are going to see uh, Mighty Mouse talk about it a little bit. And you're going to see some guys throwing down. Uh, but if you guys want to see the whole fights and more fighter profiles and the way they go out across the nation setting up these events. And it, it's pretty awesome because it, it's one of those things where they, they, they advertise on Instagram and on YouTube where they're going to be at. And these guys just show up, they glove up, and they throw down. And that is some backyard brawling, and that is just some raw, intense warriors going at it. So I can't wait for you guys to see all this. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not an official long episode this time, but it was definitely amazing. And I hope to be a part of this, uh, a part of another event, hopefully soon. If they ever come back to Arizona or somewhere nearby, I can, I can shoot over there because it was just a cool environment. It was great to talk to some of these fighters and talk to Mighty Mouse himself. He has such an insp inspiring story and just what he's, what he's doing in the community for these young warriors. So you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm here with the man, Mighty Mouse. How you doing, big dog? Doing, bro? Nice to meet you, man. How you doing? So. This is your first event in Arizona, huh? First one, man. Never uh, been to Arizona. I just got trapped the trailers through here all the time, man. Yeah. Uh, but never uh, never ran any events out here ever. Really? No, nope. I hit Julian up, uh, the guy I just did around with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, uh, we met on Vegas on the Strip, and uh, he was like, man, let's run an event in, uh, in Arizona. I was like, let's do it. You're all about it then, and huh? And fucking within a month and a half time, we're out here. Now. Yeah, I see the turnout. It's yeah. pretty good. You know, it's you okay, guys just post. Man. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, for, for the first time, man. Like, yeah. We just ran Detroit last Two, about two weeks ago, I had over 300 people up there. 300 people? 300 people and almost 30 fights. Wow. Yeah. This is Dallas, awesome. I put on 70 fights in Dallas. Man, this is a, yeah, this this is is a very a, this small is a good compared movement, to what I though, you know? yeah, This is a good yeah. movement you guys Appreciate are doing that, out man. here, man. Guns down, gloves up, man. Everybody's free and everybody's welcome. Wherever state we're at, you know what I'm saying? You can follow me on my YouTube. Yep. Mighty Mouse, UFL on the YouTube. You can hit me up on that. Um, or get on our Facebook group page, man, so you can find out all the dates, times, and locations of all the fights. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Quick question. What's up? What percentage of your body is not inked? Oh, uh, probably about 10%, man. I got the top of my right foot and my ass cheeks, man. And then I'm not doing any more here. But everything I don't think else, you have room in there, bro. No, nah, I'm not doing no more there. <laughs> for real, for real, I, I don't think, man. I, I did all these. I, I did 16 years in prison. And um, I did all these in prison. And I think that uh, I probably wouldn't have done a lot of the facial tats. If, uh, you know, it, it don't matter. I tried to try the trailers. I've been on gang file, um, all that stuff, man. And, and I can still get a job. And that's why I do the prison you? talk video okay. because I help guys come out of prison. I was on the cover of Returning Citizen magazine. I've been in ESPN magazine. I've been on USA Today. Um, and what we do is we get dudes to come home from prison and we help them get jobs. And I help guys get their class A CDLs. That's one of the main things I do to drive track the trailers. I tell them they can tat it up, they can be on gang file, and they can be a felon, they can be on probation, and they can still make a job, $70,000 a year. That's outstanding. I mean, so, so you're helping these young men, Absolutely. young men and women coming out of prison transition to real life, right? Real life, real life. And they don't necessarily have to do this, man. We do this in, in the hood, the majority of the times. This is probably the nicest neighborhood I've ever ran a fight in in my life. <laughs> um, we mostly do this stuff in the hoods everywhere, uh, really bad areas. Um, and we do a lot of donations also, man. We go back yeah. in the hoods, I donate a lot of gloves and bags for people that can't afford it and stuff like that, man. So I definitely do that type of stuff. Um, I was talking to your coach and uh, just the, the type of inspiration that you guys give these young men and women yeah. who are getting, yeah. having trouble good transitioning out of that, right. you know? And it's, right. as, as long as you can guide them to something good, you're doing your job, man. Thank you know you, what man. I'm saying? Appreciate that. That's good, that's yeah. good. So this is all fun to you, huh? Yeah, man, I love it, man. Like I said, I'm 44 years old, so uh, I don't 44, have no, bro. 44, man. Come I don't on. have no, no, I'm 11 and 5 in MMA. Um, I've never boxed a day in my life. Actually, running and doing these events, type of events, yeah. actually transitioned me into boxing because there's not too many people um, that come from the streets that are automatically going to jump in and do MMA or know anything about MMA. Right. So I actually said, okay, well, if I can't, you know, beat them, I'm going to join them. So I started joining and I started learning how to box. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And started picking up boxing. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not a technical boxer. I never will be. But um, I love to do it. I love to help people out. I like seeing kids get off the street. And maybe a lot of these guys that are older that have been to prison, they don't know anything else in life, man. And, right. and next thing you know, like, damn, I'm pretty good at this. 
And uh, next thing you know, they're doing USA Boxing or they that's might turn pro or whatever. It, it turns you know. their mind and body into something positive. You never know, man. That's awesome. You that's never that's know. a great inspiration. Yep. Um, how many pro fights do you have under your belt? None. This will be my first pro fight in October. Um, I was supposed to fight on UFC Fight Pass June 25th. Oh, no shit. They screwed me my last 11 days before the fight. They told me because I'm over 40 that I had to go get a brain MRI. What? And uh, I was cutting weight and everything, man. They told me I had a brain MRI for the fight. Um, so I'm going to give MMA up. I'm still going to grapple, you know, every couple nights and still train and stuff. Yeah. But this is going to be a pro boxing match, man. Um, fighting at 168. Okay. Um, and I, I just want to say that I did a pro fight. I'm 11 and 5 in MMA. Never had anything pro at all. So yeah. I want to say that's just on my bucket list to say that I did a pro fight. So in MMA, what, what would you say is your main strength? Oh, I'm submission wrestling, man. Submission wrestling. What are you doing? Submission wrestling. I'm nice. grappling all day. Grappling all day. I've wrestled since I was in second grade. Hell yeah. And wrestling all day. Nice, nice. Um, and then Muay Thai. I've done a couple of Muay Thai, uh, amateur Muay Thai matches and nice. stuff like that as well. And Muay Thai is a different yeah. monster, bro. Yeah, it's different. You know? It's different, different You stuff. get kicked a certain way, man. It kinda... Yeah, it's different, man. Plus, you know, the clinching in the pocket and stuff like that. Absolutely. Yeah. In the pocket and stuff like that. All right, and stuff, man. But well, yeah. I'm excited, brother. Thank, Thank you, bro. you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you so man. much. Absolutely. Have you, have you talked to him yet? Yeah. Ready? All right, I'm here with another fighter, Brody. How you doing today, big dog? Doing pretty good. Yeah, how you feeling? Feeling good, just got off work. Just got off work? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm excited, you know, start the weekend. Nice, nice. You know, what the best way to start a weekend. Exactly. You throw some hands, huh? Yeah, yeah that shit. How's, uh, what's your strategy going into this fight today? Uh, just, uh, you know, be patient, um, fill them out, and, you know, just show my skills that, you know, I've been, uh, training for you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, How long have you been training? I mean, I I don't train like seriously, but I've always been a combat sports fan. You know, yeah. uh, watching boxing, UFC. Oh, yeah. So I've just always been into it. You know. An enthusiast. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I train like basically on my own. I've done uh, a little bit of training with um, some coaches, but. Uh, not for too long and nothing crazy. So yeah, I just train on my own and nice, I, nice. I still get it in no matter what. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Are you from here? Yeah, I'm from here. Really? Yeah, Glendale, Arizona. Glendale, born and raised. Yep. Born nice. Raised. So you, you're, a, you're a kid of the desert out yeah, here, yeah, huh? Exactly. So that's nice. That's nice. The heat and How many? Do um, you have any other fights under your belt? Nah, no. Like this is my first time. Really? Like okay. uh, going to like you know me and my friends we we do some sparring okay, you know okay. here and there but. It's more of like some um, competitive. Yeah, yeah, actual competitive. Uh, this is the first time, so I'm excited. Heck yeah, I'm excited too, man. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to see you out there, bro. Yeah, bro. Good, best of luck. Yeah, I appreciate it. No problem.
All right, and we're here with some more fighters, Jimmy and Justice. How are you guys feeling today? Feeling good, bro. Good to be here. Yeah. Right here. It's hot. It is hot. Are you guys, are you guys from here? Yeah, born and raised. I'm from Florida, dog. Oh, so you're from a different type of heat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're from the swamp, dog. Yeah, it's all good. There's gonna be no uh, alligators out here, so you shouldn't have to worry. About I'm not ready to get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Just hope you didn't bring any over with you, dog. <laughs> uh, how you feeling coming into this fight today? I feel good, bro. I'm ready. Have a good time. How long have you been training? Yeah. yeah, just on and off again. Yeah, yeah. What's your uh, main technique? Fat fighting style. Main fighting style? Shit, I don't know. Put my head down, start swinging. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Survi get, survival. Cl clutch my, clutch my jaw, not get knocked out. You Hell know? yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. How about you, Justice? Um, Philly Shell. I'm playing. I'm Mike Tyson. Baby. <laughs> oh yeah. Peek a peek a boo. Yeah. Get in there real quick. I'm gonna eat my children. <laughs> I'm gonna eat your children. <laughs> your back. My back is broken. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. So you guys excited? Yeah. How long have you been doing a contact? Uh, we just really started this year. Honestly, it was a kind of a slow start for me, but now I'm starting to get more contacts, get more events going. So I'm starting to put my name out there, you know? From AZ or Yeah, I'm from AZ. I'm from Tucson, actually. Oh, okay. Based out of Tucson. Do uh, you guys have any fights under your belt so far? No. Uh, this is your first time? This was like... First time been, you felt, baby. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. been watching his channel since I was like 17. Oh, no so, shit. So, like, I kind of just gauge like the kind of audience people like. Oh, okay. Did you come here just for the fight? Yeah, I came here for a fight. Like, I, I've been training with these guys for like, a solid minute. And, yeah. Like, had some bar parties and parties, but I'm ready to expand my horizon. Hell yeah. Like, what a best way to do it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the fucking backyard with the pool. <laughs> Got some pit bulls hanging out over there. Man, it's the best. Beautiful guys. Hell yeah. They are. They really are. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Best of luck for you guys. You guys might not know this, but I'm bisexual. Alright, I'm here with my, my boy Bruce here. He's also gonna be a fighter. How you feeling today, big dog? I'm feeling cool, calm, and I'm undertrained, under motivated, a little under the weather, a little bit tired, and I'm still good enough to beat any of these guys. Oh shit. That's some that's some straight up talk right there. But you know what? That's how that's that mentality, bro. That's gotta, that champion mentality, right? I gotta call up the bad guy Chael Sonnen. <laughs> oh him, no! Gotta give him a shout out. <laughs> Uncle right Chael, there. baby. I'm the reason Waldo's hiding. I said that on the live chat. Oh shit. On this pro on the post for this live chat with, with uh, Mighty Mouse, I said that. Really? Yeah, go look at my post, Bruce Lee. Damn. Go look at that in the live chat. Damn, we're gonna check that out. We're definitely gonna check that out and post it up. So if he's first, out there, first you fly. Fish swim and I do this. There you go. BJ Penn, right there. BJ Penn, one of the legends, fighting legends. So what got you into this, bro? Um, I've been fighting my whole life since I was five years old, and I've uh, been doing MMA since I was 18, and I just love it. Yeah. How many fights you got under your belt so far? Like, like sanctioned fights? Yeah. Uh, over 20. Really? Yeah. Nice. What's your record so far? We'll talk about after the fight. I don't want to scare nobody. <laughs> okay, okay. So we got a little secrets here. It's all good. It's all good. 
So what's your strategy coming into this fight? Uh, I can do it all. Really? Yeah, I'm ready. Like, I ain't, I ain't shooting, but if we go, I'm going to choke your ass out. So I'll just say that. Cool, cool, cool. So you don't train around here, right? Because mm -hmm. you, you, just, you just got in. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Denver. Denver, baby. 303, right there. That's awesome, bro. That's awesome. I just uh, called it once. So, you excited? Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm I'm excited as ever, man. This has been one of my best days since I moved here. I'm new here. Well, I've been here for eight months, and I don't know many people here. I've seen this post, and I jumped off the couch and did a little stretch, and I was like, <laughs> I'm ready to go. Damn, y'all heard it over here. My boy Bruce, I think he's ready. I think he's going to take a W today, so we'll see. Thanks a lot, big dog. Come on, Bruce. Hey buddy, how you doing? You doing good? Huh? They got you all caged up, is that okay? You're gonna make me start singing a Sarah McLaughlin song. <laughs> 